advice. I told you once, and I'll tell you twice. The way I feel, here's my advice. I told you once, and I'll tell you twice. The way I feel, here's my advice. I told you once, and I'll tell you twice. Have a great Tuesday. I will. Last night, I started to watch the Alabama Clemson game. It looked like, at least at first, Alabama was going to run away with it. Clemson came back and scored. I ended up going to bed at, uh, I think the score was 14-7 Alabama. Even though Clemson had just scored, I thought, mm, Alabama may still win this. Turns out, it was a great game. Clemson scored in the final seconds to win it. I mean, if I knew that's the way the game was going to go, I probably would have stayed up and watched it. But I didn't. I got a good night's sleep. So... I think I'm better off. This series of charts represents something that I am both very proud of and also very ashamed of. What this is is a series of charts that I hung in this room for the past 12 years. And I charted on here a bunch of my different weight losses throughout the years. It actually started with this chart, was the main chart, and this black line starting here was my weight loss in 2004. It's the one that runs all the way down here uh, it's my biggest weight loss. 2005, I was back up here, this red one. You can see I started try to lose weight, try to lose weight again. 2005, I did pretty good. Again, not all the years are charted on here. Sometimes I was using a cell phone app. Sometimes I was just putting it into a spreadsheet. Um, let's see, here's 2013, 2014, I started here. Drop down to there. This one, I'm not even sure what year that was. Uh, the pink one that runs down here is 2015. 2016, early in the year, <clears throat> is this blue one. Yeah, I've tried to lose weight an awful lot. So what I did is, I took all this and I went through my cell phone apps and I went through my spreadsheets <clears throat> and I wrote down for every year how much weight I lost. And I took any time period that was about a month or longer that I actually tracked my weight loss. So I've written out all of my weight losses over the years. I'm just gonna chart them. So beginning in 2004, I began February 9th, I went to October 4th, I started at 250 pounds, I ended at 158, so my weight loss that year was 92 pounds. This was honestly making me sick to my stomach writing this out. I can't believe that I've actually done this to myself. I mean, I have weight losses here of 92 pounds. As early as 2015, I had lost 89 pounds. I kept putting it all back on. My highest weight uh, was here in 2014. 274 pounds. 
I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. Total all these up. Five hundred and thirteen pounds. I've lost five hundred and thirteen pounds, and except for this last seventy, I gained it all back. It really is horrible. You know, that's just that's ridiculous. I can't believe I've done that to myself over the years. Except for this last 70 pounds that I've lost. That's, you know, 400 and some pounds that I've been able to diet and get off my body and then I put it right back on. And I'm doing it year after year after year. I can't, I can't even think of what that's done to my body, to my heart. That's why this, this has got to be the last time. It's got to stop. This has got to be the end. That's it. That's, that's disgusting. That's horrible. It's now just about 8 o'clock at night. Uh, I know that I had said one way or the other I was going to work out tomorrow. Um, the way my throat feels right now and the congestion I still have, I'm just not sure that that's going to be a wise move. Uh, so I might actually just continue to take rest days and maybe I'll start my lifting back up on Saturday. I think if I just watch my diet between now and then, I'll, I should be good. Um, I do have uh, all three of my current diet bets are ending, I think starting tomorrow, tomorrow and the next day. Um, I'm already like three pounds under where I need to be, so that's not a problem. I do think I may want to do a couple more. Uh, I think Obese to Beast is starting one up as well, right around this time, so I think I may transition right into uh, a couple more. And I kind of have an ulterior motive for not working out tomorrow and Thursday. And that is tomorrow the calling for temperature to be close to 50. And I think Thursday it's going to be in the low 60s. Which means tomorrow and Thursday could be a couple of the first days that I might be able to get the drone out. And I could do that at lunch. And so I'm kind of talking myself into not lifting weights Wednesday and Thursday so I can go play with the drone. No, I really am. No, I really am kind of talking myself into that. But I think I've waited long enough to play with the drone.